Yeah. You, you know, you cannot beat, and actually this is something Mango has attested to me this weekend, you cannot beat Armada without without playing the J-Man game. You gotta, gotta use those lasers to the best of your ability to back on that percent, because once Armada gets a punish, you know it's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt extremely bad. And you know, Mango, we're gonna see a lot of the same from him as well. But you have to kind of win the game over time instead of just looking forward to one fell swoop like a lot of bots like to do. Yeah. This punish game, just like you said, Mango, no stranger to having a solid one. This is why he's up there. This is why he's in the winner's finals and immediately taking it straight to Armada with a wave shine up smash. And opting for a shine grab on the platform as well, trying to just limit those options. But. And here we go, using the platforms and lasers just to, you know, get some space between him and Peach and a lot of free damage while wow, that one full jump laser was so precise. It was perfect. He knew that he couldn't get anything else off of that uh, situation, so why not attack on a little bit more percent? That's oh, one thing yeah. that Mango has become extremely cognizant on as he takes first blood here on Battlefield. And Mango already taking it straight to Armada. Just such good control of the ground with, you know, using Fox's speed. And every time he notices Armada's in the air, he'll wait. He doesn't Speaking of punish game, ooh, but a swing and a miss. Oh, man. More lasers from Mango. Good, nice. Uh, combo breaker with that neutral air. Wrong game. Killer Instinct happened last night, right? <laughs> Definitely. There's another. Wow, Mango. Okay, so the high short, that threw me off guard. Because, yeah. you know, a lot of players sit to go for the platform. And our model's expecting as well. We saw him use his double jump to get in position. And that time, he's ready for either option. Smart stuff, and here we go. We're back in, right back in there. Good laces for Mango, taking, taking on a lot of free damage. And we saw a stitch face as well. Oh man, I missed it. It also missed Mango, so. <laughs> oh, caught him in the air. Couldn't quite get the real combo. Wow, you saw that movement? Full jump, immediate wave land to the left, to the left side. It's very intimidating whenever you see players that are so technically sound. Man. Nice. Okay, we've seen that from Mango earlier, at, I mean, at MLG last week. He would go for an up throw up here, and then if Armada would try to spot dodge and DI to the left or right, Mango would immediately, like, fast fall L cancel and oh just my, chase oh, with oh, an up smash. Oh, well, my. my gosh, what a combo from Armada. Well, and a good uh, ledge cancel as well for Mango to get out of the situation at the end. But again, you know, it... Not bad. Is he coming back, though? Wow. He's the one. Good stuff by Armada. Such an epic battle. And Mango is still here, looking like a boss that has, like, not only one bar of health, but numerous bars of health. Oh, we are at CEO. This is, this is most definitely Gil. Resurrection. Oh, man. But anyway, oh, my gosh. Mango with the dash stance grab. Really smart. Even on the platforms. Okay. Armada forcing him off stage to the best of his ability. Good full jump. Nice. I like that. Using the flow, he didn't burn it early. He, he got the neutral air and then used the flow to get in position to pull back, get the forward aerial, and then get that stop. Yes, indeed. Smart. But a wave shine up smash. Every fox in New York can do that. Why is Mango so good at it? So good. Oh, man. Armada. That was nice. Armada was trying to get in position to try to wall Mango out right there. That's why you saw him full jump and tap his back towards him. Now, also, we're seeing Mango eat a lot of these. Turnips. I don't know just those, but these down smashes. Oh, yeah. I know he's been trying to uh, tech to the ground and even punish after that. But, oh, oh, this is trouble. My oh, gosh. one miscue is all it takes. Poor Armada. Very unfortunate. Mango taking game one with a well placed and well timed shine. It, it wouldn't be a set with uh, these two if there wasn't at least one heartbreak into a game. So. Yep, whenever you see these two players go at it, it'll be really exciting. And then right near the end, we'll get hit with like some kind of tearjerker. Either Mango Sight being off stage like an MLG or what just happened there. Anyway, we're going straight into it. Nice combination. Drill Shine, Nair Up Smash. New stuff. <laughs> Man, Mango reinventing Fox's punish game. And we see Armada there trying to swipe away with a a solid reverse forward air. Could get back, but I like the idea. I mean, he was definitely in dire straits. That would have changed the uh, complexion of the match, but he still ends up losing that stock. This Fox is, is he's, an, he's another breed of Fox, man. He's not just an ordinary Fox. Like the things that he does, the decisions that he makes, man, it's just impeccable. Good job, Armada. Still trying to chase Mango. And Mango, wow. 
here, here come the epic power shields from both players. Yeah, you know, that's one of the things that's so important in any game. If you are able to mix up your timings, but these two, they kind of read on each other. And of course, you know, with the history they have, they kind of know what each other, when they want to time them, so. But I mean, this is pretty resu this is a pretty resounding lead for Mango right now. Oh, uh, try to get that tech chase up smash a little too late. And here Amada, oh, and again, he wanted it. Now this is trouble. Okay, stock, possibly gone. It's gone. That was so good by Armada. It's not wow. delivery, it's DiGiorno. Man. Maybe it's Pizza Hut. Seamless, where are you at? I'm a cheddar. <laughs> good jab up smash by Mango, bringing it close to two stocks each. Mango still up one game. Armada's kind of big, looking pretty good for him. Longevity is the name of the game here in game two. But the tech chases. Missing that punish off of the miss tech with the uh, up throw up air from Armada. Goes for it this time. No neutral air. Okay, mixing us up. Shield drops. And Armada, that lead, shrank it. And you see a mango shielding immediately, expecting the neutral air. That's an important stock. But Armada having the presence of mind. Why not grab? And that all leads to an off stage skirmish. Monica gets to leave. Yep, pulling back with that forward aerial, and here we go, bringing on the paint again with these, with these, with the combination of the fair, the tech chase, that dash attacks, getting him off stage. Wow, that was surreal. It looked like he was kind of far, but this is another opportunity. But Armada lives. Armada is just at times too willing to air dodge. All right, that's it. Third time's the charm. And here we go. We're back in there. Mango trying to avoid Armada to the best of his ability. Sneaks in a wave shine, but Armada's out of there. Nice back airs. Oh, good stuff. That was really smart by Mango. Getting in that full jump neutral air. We'll try to get back on stage, but Armada pushing him right out. Avoiding these turnips. Nice by Armada. Avoiding that neutral air again. And what is this? A stock? Not yet. Oh, the shine. Mango again, recognizing that Armada's looking to air dodge, and he's not making it back, so why waste time? Wow, I, two. I don't know if you noticed, but Armada took the deepest of breaths after winning that match. He was like, your heart has to be racing. I mean, this is your rival. Fight your rival. And look how quick these guys are with stage selection. They didn't know where they want to go. They have no time to waste. They got things to do. Mango meeting Armada with a lot of lasers again. Ah, uh, there it is. I'm about to give it. Wow, 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 oh, wow, wow, wow. Oh my gosh. Are, are you serious? Are, are oh you serious, Mango? Oh my goodness gracious, good gosh almighty. When Mango is feeling it, I, he is the best player on the planet. The only goat. one that can really challenge him is the player he's playing against right now. You know, PPMD will get his swings in as well, as one 2 k but when Mango is having a good day, everyone has to take notice or take second place. Of course, it's it's so hard to take that away from him with all the momentum that he has. And this, you know what's the thing about Mango that's really strong? His play style. He's so confident. Confident play styles like that throw a lot of players off guard. You yeah, know? you can't play good aggression if you're not confident. And if you're constantly questioning yourself, then you probably don't need to be playing an aggressive game. Exactly. Once they notice that, you know, oh, wow, the, setting up for that back air. Once they notice that you have doubt in your heart and you're second guessing yourself, that's it. Your player, the opponent will feed off of that. Never show any weakness. That's one thing that both players are really, really solid. I like the idea. That was I think so Mango was yeah. prepped for it anyway. Try to see if he can get on that Randall. But, I mean, it is Cloud9's own Mango. Just out of reach. This tech leads him to the situation. Top platform. Armada definitely taking notice. Going top platform again. Again. Air. Again. Three neutral airs. Going gonna... top platform again. Yeah. <laughs> Man. Nice by Mango just throwing out those spaced back aerials. Just not letting Armada get any offense out. Nice dash dance is just respecting the floats. That was really good. Sweet spotting that double jump. And here's the up throw up air. Amada Sweet getting out of there. And Amada definitely wants to get out of there because if Mango's confident, he starts shield pressuring. 
your shield's gonna break or you're going to break. One of the two. And speaking of breaking, oh no. Wow. Did you notice that, what he did? He what? fell down, turned around, and blocked. I wonder what he was thinking. Mango's crazy. Good trade for Armada, but again, still has a lot of ground to make up. Here comes Armada just making Mango wait. Nice shield drop, and he's back on the ground. And we saw Mango dropping with a fall on up air as well, trying to close the stock by any means necessary. But he got it eventually with the back air. That was really good DI by Armada and smash the out of that up air. Now Mango just trying to see if he can get a lot of stray hits. Armada trying to crouch cancel a little bit. I'm also seeing so much respect from Mango. A lot of players went on before and up air after, uh, up tilt, pardon me, after crossing up and connecting with the neutral air. But Mango's really happy sitting in his shield, but that time he should have been sitting in his shield. And this probably will close up the stock. Really solid neutral air by Armada. We're at one stock each. Mango tossing out a lot of lasers, though. This time playing a little more safe. Oh, man. Shine out a shield. Yeah, he yeah he was going for it. So much hit stuff, though. Parasol is very, very tough to get through. Ooh, wow. Connect. Amazing range. And we're down to game four. Yep. 2-1 in Mango's favor. Cloud 9. And by the way, guys, on the other... Uh, Oh, we can't see, so it doesn't even matter. Can't even comment on it. But Club and Mutant King are playing on the other recording setup. Yep, I'm actually off stream. Uh, we did see Club beat Fiction, so. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, we got the countdown. Seven, six. six five. Oh, are we doing Fox Dittos? Oh, nope. No, we have. Armada uh, actually talking to Esam, trying to figure out everything. But. Interesting. I wonder what Esam had to share. Do you know I won dive kick this weekend? Do you know how amazing that is? <laughs> I have the belt. Don't you want this belt? <laughs> Just with melee on it? You can do that if you win this tournament. You're close. You're guaranteed top three, but you need number one to get it. That's what Esam would say. And then Armada just nods his head in approval. Look at him. He's focused right now. He's back to being stoic, not showing any emotion, no smiles on his face. He's just here to get the W. He's here for business. He's clocked in. His break isn't even here yet. He's only three hours into shift, into the shift. One hour to go until break. Let's go, Armada. Game four. Back on Battlefield where this all began. Nice chase. Wow, the standing laser. Remember what I was talking about earlier with knowing your timing of your opponent? Mango has it locked in right now. With that quick up throw up air. Only taking 13%, but it doesn't matter because Armada can do that, go out there, and get the KO. 51%. That, that's, that's so low. That's something else, man. It's the power of a good offstage game. Yeah, a lot of players tend to be a little scared whenever they're fighting their opponents. But, you know, once they see them off stage, they'll stay on the stage, wait for them to come back and, you know, punish their recovery. But Armada, no fear. He's go he goes right in. He goes right out there. And nice. Mango just catching him, overshooting these full jump nares. Not letting Armada get any of those space forward aerials. Did you see Mango actually charging that up smash on the platform. He's uh -huh. expecting a shield drop from Armada that we can see in a while this weekend. Yeah, see, that's the gift and the curse about being good at shield dropping. Some players, after they learn how to shield drop, they'll just start shield dropping for no reason. In every single scenario. Yeah. You know, it's just like everything else in this game. You can know everything, but it's an appropriate time to do everything. Meanwhile, Armada has a lock on where Mango wants to be. We saw him chase down the roll uh, preemptively. Again, all day to figure it out. Flow charting. It's all flow charting. Good job by Armada putting it at two stocks each. Now let's see what mix-ups Mango's going to do here. Mango definitely wants to keep playing this version of the game. Yep. Yep, so the main strategy we're seeing from him here is just laser and full jump aerials whenever Armada takes to the skies. Kirby has the opportunity to catch Armada slipping. He'll convert that into a possible up throw up air or drill shine up smash. And again, he just has this, Armada has a sense when Mango's going to roll. He's punishing for pretty, pretty well. I mean, we're not seeing full on, you know, 2013 January Armada punishes, but we're seeing some strong connections being made. Good back air. And Mango is possibly one stock away from sitting in grand finals. Let's see what Armada does, though. Yeah, Armada's put something together, and this is how it's going to start. Getting with the all stage game, force, off, force Mango to use the second jump. 
And again. Nice forward aerial by We're going to the last spot. Yep, take a position, grab the edge. And here we go. Mango going for a lot of these neutral airs again. Just waiting for Amato to give him the opportunity to go in. Nice. More lasers, 84% now. Oh man, good stuff by Mango. Just got into Armada's comfort zone. Armada tried to, of course, escape. Mango, got a position, got the wave shine, turn around, up smash, taking a game with the score of a 3-1, if yep. I'm not mistaken, victory.